Hey, let's go to our Lone Star State connection on BYU football right now. T. John Karoma, starting center, freshman. T. John, what's going on, man? Hey, how you doing? We are fantastic. We've heard that you've been dubbed the strongest guy on the BYU football team, and that coming from your offensive line coach, Garrett Tuje. What does it mean to you to be the strongest guy on the team? Uh, I don't know. That's a that's a pretty big title. I don't I don't even know if I if I should uh, own that title. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's some there's some pretty strong guys guys, and I've been able to lift with them. But I, I don't know if I'd even call myself the strongest. Those guys are pretty strong. Tijon, you started against Connecticut. Your first game in college, you're a freshman. You started. When were you told that you'd be the starter, and what was your reaction? Um. Well, let me let me think. I don't know. It was a few weeks into fall camp. I started running with the ones. But even then, I wasn't even 100% sure I was going to be the starter. It wasn't really until, I don't know, probably a few days before Connecticut that I was actually sure that I was going to be starting. And what was your reaction? Oh, I was excited. I was, I was pretty nervous, too, but I was excited. Uh, you didn't miss a snap. I thought you were uh, spot on. Uh, oh, oh, Jam- thank you. Jamal Williams did not mention your name when bab- uh, baptizing defenders, though. He did mention <laughs> Edward Fusi. Oh, yeah. Uh, Fusi did his thing. Yeah, Fusi, <laughs> Fusi did his thing. He really did baptize the defender. <laughs> T. John Karoma joining us on BYU Sports Nation, the starting center. A freshman, you're headed back home to Texas, to your state. T. John, what kind of a reception and crowd do you expect for you and for BYU football there at uh, DKR? Oh, man, I'm, I'm so excited just, just to be in Texas. I'm, I'm so excited for that. Um, I've, I went to a few years ago, I went to a game where BYU played Texas, and that atmosphere was crazy. So I'm just really excited to, to be a part of that crowd. I mean, you know, their stadium holds, what, like 100,000 or so, and I'm, I'm excited to play in front of that crowd. Did you like the Longhorns growing up at all? Um, yeah, a little bit. I, if I was, if I was going to say I was watching one team, it's probably the Longhorns. What were you thinking last year when you saw BYU run all over Texas? I was I was showing off. I was like, hey, you know, you guys always talk about that Mormon school, but what's up now? You know, BYU <laughs> beat Texas pretty good. What's up now, guys? The yeah. only issue is that the goal has to be 551 rushing yards, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. We, we, hey, we'll see. Let's see. BYU freshman center T. John Karama joining us on BYU Sports Nation. How's the mentality of your football team right now coming off uh, a solid performance against Connecticut, but now facing probably the biggest test you guys will have all year, at least in terms of road games at Texas? Well, uh, you know, we work hard every day. We're prepared. We just we know it's going to be a great team, and we're, we're ready for it. We're, um, we're excited, and uh, I, don't, I don't think there's anybody really too scared over here. We're just ready to go. We're excited. Tijon, what was your welcome to BYU football and college football moment on uh, Friday? On Friday? Hmm, let me think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe that first snap, it was, it was, it was pretty quick, that first snap. But after that, it was, you know, I felt like, you know, I, I could hang with these guys. It was also 14 to nothing pretty quick there. That helps. Uh, That's true. <laughs> oh, actually, maybe that first. 20 play drive was was my welcome <laughs> to college football. You're like, hey, wait, coach, I thought we ran a two minute offense, not a five. What's going on? <laughs> T. John, uh, what I guess what what's the level of confidence now for your team, knowing that Texas has some key parts of their roster missing? I, I know that you're supposed to just focus on beating them as a team, but do you gain a little bit more confidence knowing that they have some key players missing? <clears throat> Well, I mean, honestly, I didn't even know they had any players missing. Um, I, that's news to me. But uh, I think either way, our confidence is, you know, through the roof. We're just, we're just ready to go. The offensive line was talked a lot about last year, a lot of guys back uh, with experience. And then you and Ului Lapuahu decide, well, you know what, we're freshmen and uh, we would like to start. Uh, have you <laughs> talked to Ului about that experience of, okay, you know what, we got to bring it with these upperclassmen right behind us trying to get these starting spots? Yeah, for sure. I mean, as freshmen, we're, um, you know, we're just – we're kind of, you know, this is new to us, and we're really just pretty honored to be with that group. So, you know, we just, at me and Louie, you know, we're just, we work even probably harder, you know, just to catch up with those guys because those guys have been here for a while. So we really are just trying to be a part, a part of the rest of the offense line crew. Tell us, uh, like, the one phrase that Garrett Touje uses the most. <laughs> That's okay for TV and radio. <laughs> <laughs> No, you. Oh man, I, <clears throat> that's funny because there's there's a lot of phrases that that I could that I could name, but one phrase that he uses a lot is uh, "walk down and get them all." Walk down, walk and, down get them all. and get them all. What is get that? Through. What is that about? 
I don't know yet. I, <laughs> <laughs> I might have to ask him, but he, he says it a lot, and it's pretty motivating. So Walk down and get them all. <laughs> okay, I like it. T. John Caroma with us on BYU Sports Nation, the starting center. Because you're a freshman, there has to be like an accelerated process for you and Taysom Hill to, to form a relationship and, and a bond there as the battery of the team, as the center and the quarterback. How is your relationship with Taysom, and how is it continuing to develop? Um, well, I mean, when I first got to BYU, I was nervous. I was like, man, this dude Taysom, that's an important dude. I don't, I don't even know if I can shake this guy's hand yet. You know? <laughs> but, uh, but uh, you know, I mean, we spent a, you know, a few minutes before practice, a few minutes after practice snapping and stuff, and, and I, I think we're going – uh, growing closer as friends. Well, you did a great job against Connecticut. Good luck against Texas. And I especially loved your high school film, by the way. I've never seen more pancakes in a single <laughs> offensive lineman highlight video. That was great. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, T-John, we wish you the best of luck in your homecoming trip back to Texas as you take on the Longhorns on Saturday. Yes, sir. Thank you so much.